Hello students, I would like to show you how you can use the TI-30XS as a tool to approach some questions in statistics. Now this is page 8 from the PDF, and this is offline work. I want to show you how you can take these numbers right here, 91, 96, and so forth, and have the calculator automatically compute the average. So you can start here by going into data. And you'll notice that there uh, are some tables here. Up here it says L1, L2, L3, and then you can just type in the data here, 91, hit enter, 96, and I'm going to speed through this. There, I have all seven pieces of data in here. When I highlight 107, which is the last one I put in, it says 7. Okay, now I can go to second key and then press the data key again. Well, when you press second, it'll go to stat. And stats gives you tools to look at, you know, how to do things with the data you entered. So option number one here is one var stats. That means one variable statistics. Uh, pressing enter, well, uh, it'll say get the data from where. And here L1 is selected. Now for frequency list, I'm, it should be set to one automatically, um, but I'm just going to make sure that it's on one right now, and then it's ready to go, calc. When you press enter, it says n equals 7. That means how many pieces of data are there, so that's 7. And then x bar over it, that means average or mean, is 99.57. And that is calculated to several decimal places here. You'll see in the book they rounded it up to 99.6. And they use the symbol, the wavy symbol, which means approximately. So very often you'll get a question and they'll say round it to the nearest tenth or round it to the nearest hundredth. And you should be aware of that, that you don't need to put in or report all these darn decimals that the calculator will give you. Now let's take a look here at example number two. This is giving you data in the form of a frequency table. Now I'm not talking about radio frequencies, I'm talking about how frequently, how frequently the data is coming up here. So 73, what they're saying here, number of days, is that 73 is in there twice and 74 is going to be in there three times and 75 is going to be in there represented as four times. So you could put 73 plus 73, but it's a little bit faster and a little bit easier to notice that we are multiplying by two. Now the calculator can handle this sort of situation here. I'm going to uh, go up to the list here and I'm going to hit the delete key a whole bunch of times and clear out the data. Now the way that you enter data in a frequency table is by typing in the data value like so using the right directional arrow key and then putting 2 and 2 is going into list 2. Now what this is going to say is 73 is in here twice and then 74 enter directional arrow key over 3 and we put that in and the rest of the data goes in accordingly 75 is represented four times and then arrow down, whoops, there we go, kind of, there we go, 75, 77, <clears throat> enter, and then 78, whoops, I don't want to have that be in there wrong, there we go, I can correct it, okay, and for 77, I'll use the directional arrow keys to put in a 5, and then enter, and then 78 is in there one time. All right, so in the table, in the calculator, we have a frequency list. So what do we do in order to compute the uh, average right? So we go here to second and then we hit the data key which gives us stats and we're still gonna um, ask it for one variable statistics so we still press enter for that but this time you'll notice this says FRQ that's that's a little abbreviation for frequency list and yeah this time we do have a frequency list and all of those extra frequencies we entered into list two. You know, the two and the three and the four and the five and the one. Those numbers are in list two, so we gotta tell the calculator, hey, that stuff is there. And then when we hit calc, we see here that there are 15 pieces of data. Huh, how can that be? Well, 
if we uh, have 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 1, that sums up to a total of 15 data items. So that's where the 15 came from. It did correctly compute the average, or mean, as 75.4. And if we arrow down here, there are some more sophisticated statistics. This stands for standard deviation and sum and so forth. And that's a different lesson for a different day. But there you go. That's how to use the TI-30XS for computing some simple statistics.